di Ministry of Transport Malaysia yang bagi Datuk Isham Ishak, Secretary General Ministry of Tourism, Arts and Culture Malaysia, Mr Ignatius Ong, my buddy, Chief Group Chief Revenue Officer Malaysia Airlines. I like that part revenue. Don't get it wrong lah. <laughs> yang bagi Datuk Muhammad Shukri Saleh, CEO of Malaysia Airports, Miss Lau Yin Mei. Group Chief Marketing and Customer Experience Officer of Malaysia Airlines Berhad. I know that one supposed to generate and one supposed to spend the money. <laughs> Senior Management Team of Malaysia Airports and Malaysia Airlines Berhad, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good afternoon to all. I'm pleased to welcome you to the launch of Discover Langkawi. First and foremost, I would like to personally thank Yang Berhormat Tuan Muhammad Baktia Wancik, Deputy Minister of Tourism, Arts and Culture Malaysia for making time uh, from your busy schedule to be part of the, today's event. I would also like to say a big thank you to Yang Bagi Datuk Muhammad Khairul Adi Abdul Rahman and Yang Bagi Datuk Isham Isa for being here and supporting this event. Discover Langkawi campaign is a collaboration between Malaysia Airports and Malaysia Airlines with the main aim of promoting Langkawi as the preferred destination for Malaysians and international tourists. The campaign will run for six months from July to December 2019 and is open to all passengers who travel to Langkawi by Malaysia Airlines. We intend to increase passenger traffic and boost tourism in Langkawi through this initiative. Malaysia Airlines has always been a strong ally for Malaysia airports throughout the years and both organizations have one goal in common to make our country proud and known to the world. Discover Langkawi campaign is a collective effort by Malaysia Airports and Malaysia Airlines to continuously put Langkawi in the world tourism map as you can see from the video just now. It is not just about a business investment, it is also about showcasing Malaysia's beautiful culture and landscape to the world. Ladies and gentlemen, to promote this campaign, Marketing efforts will involve both Malaysia Airports and Malaysia Airlines via respective marketing platforms such as Malaysia Airlines website and social media platforms, Malaysia Airports digital and printed platforms as well as marketing push via travel agents. For your information, this campaign is a follow-through of the Langkawi International Tourism Promotional Fund or LITPF which was inaugurated by the Minister of Transport on the 26th of March 2019 in Langkawi during the Lima program. The LITPF is an incentive developed specifically for Langkawi to support marketing activities and promotional campaigns in promoting Langkawi as a preferred destination. The LITPF will run for two years starting from June 2019 to 2021 with a total fund allocation of 5 million ringgit. The fund is made available to eligible tourism industry players such as airlines, tour operators, travel agents, as well as destination and marketing companies. With the support of the Langkawi Development Authority or LADA, Malaysia Airports will be at the forefront leading the engagement with these stakeholders. Concurrently, Tourism Malaysia will also offer their support in reaching out to potential stakeholders abroad in marketing and promoting Langkawi. And we can see that in uh, in all our events, we have tremendous, tremendous support from Tourism Malaysia. Thank you, thank you very much. Before I end my speech, I truly hope that this initiative will boost tourism in Langkawi and further elevate its image while helping local businesses to grow and become successful. Thank you to all who have been instrumental in making today a success, especially to my airline marketing team who initiated this initiative. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you.
Kabi. So, uh, I think that Kabi is uh, one of the four uh, satellite uh, tourist information uh, investment zone uh, yang di dalam kita pasti mencari tujuan sini belayar untuk di promosikan sebagai salah satu destinasi di Malaysia ini dan uh, untuk akad uh, semua uh, dari segi jumlah arrival uh, tourist arrival di dalam kami dia separuh-separuh half of them come by boat and half of them come by uh, airline eh? dan uh, satu inisiatif yang kita akan uh, tak lama lagi insyaAllah Kementerian uh, Dalam Negeri akan uh, buat pengumuman uh, ialah uh, nanti uh, we are geared towards uh, having the visa of arrival uh, for Langkawi so that means uh, those uh, people from China and India travelling from Singapore, Thailand, Indonesia and probably Brunei dan Abang Hadi they can uh, put part of the key to visa of arrival they are willing untuk <coughs> terus ke Langkawi sebelum ini tak ada so we are adding uh, Langkawi as one of the part of entry uh, to, for for the OAT and then the OAT is also be reviewed and then will be reduced from 100 dollars current so I think uh, we try to do our best to promote Langkawi as you know uh, in Langkawi, uh, Qatar Airways has also announced the uh, they will start the 4 times a week uh, 15 October and then uh, towards the end of October, they will have five times a week uh, from uh, Doha to Penang and Penang to Langkawi. So with the arrival of uh, Qatar Airways, we will have more uh, to visitors or tourists coming from Europe, from North America, or from Africa, from China. So this is another uh, uh, good news for Langkawi. And uh, obviously, I think uh, Langkawi is uh, memang position to be one of the top destination for uh, our, our tourist attraction. Okay, ada soalan? Maybe ada soalan? This one launch early this year and Malaysia Airlines is the first uh, using this one, right? Yes. So how many more applications that uh, basically, it's open, if I may. This fund runs up to, this fund runs up to, for two years, up to 2021, totaling 5 million. So it's actually open to, we say Airlines is the event today for this launch, but as you follow other airlines, like Asia, Manito, uh, based on the, the criteria, open to uh, airlines, uh, two operators, destination marketing companies and so on. So anybody that's got promotional events of this nature are able to tap on the funds based on their eligibility. So it's 5 million running for 2 years. So far, is there any airlines or agencies that like, apply for this? Okay, so we have actually did uh, like a kick-off meeting among airlines and we should see some uh, responses coming in uh, in the near future. Right. And then um, about the percentage numbers, you're aiming for Oh, this one talking about this the V and Y. Passenger number. Oh, okay. So it's Malaysia Airport as a general. Oh, ah, yes. yes. Okay, okay. Yes. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah, because you're right, you're right. Last year we did 99 million. So we hope this year we can actually cross the century mark for the first time. Langkawi is also very, very uh, exciting at 3 million for passengers. Okay. So uh, for the first half, the trend is like. Positive. It's positive because uh, if you look at the trend, uh, as at May is about 25 million or so. So actually, when you do the extrapolation, five months, 25 million, you do the extrapolation for cool, it should be more than 60 million. And the rest of the airport is actually running on track to achieve about 40 million or so. So we feel that this year we should hit the century mark. Any more questions? Arthur? Right. Okay. 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 This is the past uh, MAB. Now we have started with uh, Langkawi. Any other destination in Malaysia that you are looking on to work on and contribute to support the promotion of uh, tourism? Okay, so there are two parts. Uh, the one that you see today is part of what you call the LITDF. But there's also what they call a JITDP, Joint International Tourism Development Fund, where Tourism Malaysia and Malaysia Airport uh, allocates 10 million each 
for again for qualifications pertaining to charterers, hoteliers, airline uh, people connected to the tourism industry. And the first of such usage was witnessed about two three days ago upon the arrival of Air Arabia. And they was the first one to tap on the front, the front on the Arabian Travel Mart in Dubai when? Uh, the 30th April 2019. So that was the first to tap on JITDP and we are actually hoping to go big on JITDP for all other state tourism bodies to tap on the front to increase uh, tourism in preparation for visit Malaysia year 2020 where the 30 million figure is being uh, aimed at. No other further questions? Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much.